Rick, first of all, Rick Ross. Let's talk Rick Ross. Oh, yeah. You yeah, gotta get it right. You gotta explain. When you say Rick Ross, everybody thinking the big dude with the beard, they go, oh, yeah. not him. <laughs> Freeway Ricky. And he was the first Rick Ross. The original Rick Ross. And uh, his story is really compelling. We're doing, uh, I'm actually portraying him in a film. And, you know, it was a shock to a lot of people because it is about the story of uh, a young drug kingpin from the 80s into actually to present day. But interestingly enough, this story uh, has much more to do than just with the typical drug dealing story. It deals with, you know, uh, the United States and, and where we were at the time to where uh, our communities were flooded with crack cocaine. And, you know, a lot of people say, man, how can you can't even play a drug kingpin? But if you know Freeway Rick, he's an upstanding, nice, regular guy that instead of going to college, you know, there was a, a, another opportunity came his way and for him to provide for his family. So at the time, it seemed like, you know, this wasn't a bad kid. This wasn't, this was a kid who played tennis after school and had the opportunity and he took it and now it ended up having, uh, uh, getting life in prison. Mm -hmm. And then he was illiterate in prison, but taught himself to read and fought his case from prison to figure out a way that the system had done him dirty and, uh, Ultimately, man, it's a, it's a compelling story about uh, where we are as a culture, where we've come from, and then now that Freeway Rick is actually, he has a foundation, he's giving back, he's doing so much for South Central LA and all other areas, and just see someone to come full circle and give so much of themselves, I was like, I'd be honored to play him. Wow. Yeah.